welcome Ridge Life. I'm Tim and today on Ramblings, guys, it is a dreary day here in West Tennessee. It's not 25 degrees at nighttime anymore, luckily. Right now it's 55 degrees in the afternoon heading home from work. And um, But it's been cold. I'll tell you, I had no water in the Ridge Crib for uh, three nights. And uh, so I had to get over and take showers in the morning over at Grandma and Carol's. Get up, get dressed, go over there, shower, come back to the Ridge Crib, make my coffee, get dressed, and head off to work. Not complaining. David didn't even have that, did he? So I, you know, I'm, you know, come on, Homestead and David, he ain't had that for the past year. He's only recently had hot water and sewer and all that stuff, peeing in a bucket. You know what I'm saying? So not complaining. Very thankful. Very thankful. Thanksgiving was just here, and I got a lot to be thankful for, guys. Um, so we've been, <coughs> we just had Thanksgiving, you know, we had a great time. Uh, it's been a while since I've had a Ridge Life Ramblings for you. I do apologize for that. Um, the holiday, the Tuesday night live stream, and I took Monday off for vacation. And, uh, not vacation, I took vacation day and I worked all day. I got a video coming out on Ridge Life of what I did Monday, winterizing the ridge, right? Um, got bees and chickens and the ridge crib. Had to keep it from freezing, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, I do I do love doing these ramblings. Goodness gracious, this is one of the funnest things I can do is sit and talk to you. Um, but on the last couple lives and last couple ramblings, I've talked about um, planning a trip. Uh, you know, I, I had a Florida trip with uh, my family this summer. Uh, my dad, my stepmom, uh, brothers and sisters, nieces and all that. And we just had a wonderful time. I actually got to see Jin Jin and Lauren, her daughter, on the way back. Me and my sister Sarah stopped at um, in uh, uh, the Panhandle, Panama City, right? And um, we stopped and saw Jin Jin there at the beach. We actually got a hotel that night and stayed, got to see her and Lauren. It was great. And uh, then, of course, me and uh, my daughter Alyssa and my granddaughter Adelie, we went uh, to Florida for uh, Disney to take my granddaughter to Disney for the first time. That was amazing. And of course, we did you know a lot of other trips and stuff this summer. You know, it's it's been a really good year for trips. You know, this last year was rough and uh, didn't get to do too much at all in 2022. You know, um, just trying to you know basically just live. Just it was a stasis. You know, I didn't. Didn't get to see the family much. Didn't get to go, you know, to meet up. And just missed a bunch of stuff like that. So 2023 was completely different. Lots and lots of family love and and, and, and family love and all that. Um, so 2024 is going to be very similar. Lots of uh, excursions. Lots of living life and um, a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of a lot of stuff around the ridge. Of course, I got hunting videos coming out for you. I know you're excited about that. Seeing me get uh, my uh, first buck of the year. Jin Jin getting her first ever deer. Ever. Ever. Shot her first deer. Yeah. Go Jin Jin. So, 2024 is going to be an amazing year. I 100% believe it's going to be an amazing year. And I, I talked about an you know, upcoming trip with the family. Um, talked to my dad about going to Connect, uh, Connecticut, um, Vermont snowmobiling and uh, they, he's got a, a lake house on Lake Bomosine uh, I know I'm butcher, butchering that name Bomosine and uh, you know they live in Connecticut my sister's uh, uh, sister now and brother live in Connecticut my other sister now lives in Alabama from Connecticut and uh, so planning on going up to Vermont on a snowmobiling trip ice fishing and all that you know uh, playing around February and uh, talking to my brothers and sisters, see if they can come. And talking to my brother, he said, uh, You know, I told him what my itinerary was. I said, Jin Jin's gonna come with me. We're gonna go, uh, our goal is to go snowmobiling, maybe a little ice fishing, and see the family. And uh, said, I, You know, we're probably gonna s spend the night in the Smokies and um, visit you all Connecticut Vermont and then come back via via Niagara Falls because I've been there twice beautiful beautiful I've never been there in the winter time though I've got to see that winter wonderland that is Niagara 
And uh, so, in talking to my family about that, Tommy, especially my brother, he's like, and well, my sister said it's a bucket list thing for her, Dory. And uh, so Tommy, you know, said, well, we could make it a family trip. And uh, we could uh, maybe rent an Airbnb, one with a hot tub outside, all of us have our own room, you know, and just make a family trip. So that's a great, great idea. And we've been throwing out the plans and the ideas and everything, and I've talked to David about it, and Jen Jen's all for it and everything. And uh, bringing it up on the live streams and the, these ramblings, the reason you're here to watch this video has come up. And some of you like to think, guys. You like to, you like to think outside the box. You like to see what is going on in this head. You like to figure me out. One of you, some of you are pretty good at it too. Some of you are really, 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 really good at it. <coughs> I'm still getting over this dry cough, guys, so I apologize. But some of you have brought up the topic of marriage. Marriage. Marriage is what brings us together today. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, you are saying that the whole Niagara Falls trip that I'm planning, you know, because Jen and I had already planned on going through Niagara Falls, is got ulterior motives. Okay? You uh, you say that, uh, Tim, while you're in Niagara Falls, you're either A, going to propose, or you're going to get B, get married. Because a lot of people get married in Niagara Falls. And wouldn't that be amazing if Timberford got married in Niagara Falls? You people. <laughs> marriage is a blessed thing. Marriage, that blessed arrangement, that dream within a dream. That's right. <laughs> um, okay, guys. I, I uh, you guys, most of you have been with me for a while. I've been doing this YouTube thing for over three years now. And, uh, you know, I got three kids, uh, just, just got divorced, uh, was finalized this, uh, in winter this year, you know, um, separated last fall, this, about this time last fall. And, uh, so it's been a year and, uh, and I've, you know, pretty much been married or in a, uh, Committed relationship my entire life. Uh, started dating my first wife when I was 16 in high school. 16. And uh, was with her for many, many years. Got three kids. Many, many years. And uh, life happened. And uh, so then I got remarried and was married uh, together 10 years, married eight years. And I uh, thought that was, you know, two was it. I was, you know, two was it. Should be forever. And then life happens. And I, I hate to say that because I, I truly believe that marriage is forever. Marriage is an eternal commitment. Uh, a man should never put aside his wife. He is committed for a lifelong relationship. I'm 100%. I, I truly believe that. Like, Tim, you've been divorced twice. Yeah. And um, it's a it's a terrible thing. It's a terrible, terrible thing. So I've only been divorced less than a year. So the odds of getting married again that quickly are about this big. Okay. Um, but I want I do 100% want that lifelong commitment, that lifelong relationship. I do. I 100% do. And I want it to be with that person that it needs to be that forever person. Thought it was the first one. Thought it was the second one. And this third, guys, third time better be the charm because I ain't doing it again. But I do, I do believe in marriage. Now, Paul, the Apostle Paul said, it's good for a man to 
and take a wife. But if he doesn't, he's committed himself wholeheartedly to the Lord, and it's a good thing. So even if I do not ever get married again, uh, God will bless me. I know. But God blesses marriages. Okay? It's up to us to not screw that up. Okay? It's up, up to us not to screw that up. So, proposing. You need a you need a ring. Have you the wind? Right? You need a ring. Um, I don't have a ring. And uh, you're like, but damn, you're doing it on Valentine. You're just like, you're on the second week of February. I kept thinking, I thought we're going in mid-February. You're going to be up there. You're going to, you're going to be at Niagara Falls at Valentine's Day in the winter with the ice flows and the your family is going to be there. And, you know, it's like, Tim, you're planning something. You people. <laughs> you people. <laughs> um, but I am very, very happy right now. Um, going into this first Christmas, just had Thanksgiving. Had a, had a zero drama Thanksgiving. Jin Jin was there. My kids were there. My uncle was there. My mom was there. My granddaughter was there. We had a zero drama Thanksgiving. Gavin was there, you know, last episode. Zero drama. That's just amazing. I have a family get together with zero drama. So I'm having a, a, a very the and I, is 50 miles I am so hour. looking forward to Christmas this year. I really want to spend it with uh, uh, Jen and Lauren, her daughter. I really do. Um, I, I've got to uh, meet Lauren a few times now, and every time I'm super, super impressed. And I truly want to get to know her more and spend the special time that is uh, Christmas with her. Um, to me, Christmas is, 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 is super special. You spend it with the ones you love. And uh, Jen and Lauren are 100% invited to share our Christmas. Hopefully, you know, they can be with me and my kids and my mom and everything. If not, you know, I can go and be a part of theirs if, if they're willing, you know. Um, but I'm looking forward to it so much I, I i okay uh jen and i have been together for six months i think we first started talking uh correct me if i'm wrong jen jen in uh april i think our first date was may june it was the end of april and then the beginning of june tim you should know this i've got it in my phone actually i do that's how well i prepare for these things right put myself on the spot <laughs> um six months okay six months that's after getting divorced and you learn a lot about a person in six months but there's so much more to learn okay and I want her to learn everything about me everything right the good the bad and the ugly and there's a lot of look at me there's a lot of ugly <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but and I got a lot to learn about her and uh, what you know, learn more about what our goals are. I, I live in a ridge crib down on the ridge, you know, in the man down by the river. <laughs> you know, I have no place to live. A little 18 foot camper trailer. I sleep in a coffin. There's a little wee hole in this little corner of the camper. You know, I've got a bunk above my head. You know, so I've got a half full with a less than twin above me. Right? Not conducive for what you're talking about, people. But you guys aren't the only ones that have said something. David from Come On Homestead was like, yeah, Niagara Falls, Valentine's Day. I see what you do. <laughs> and then uh, uh, Lauren's roommate. And uh, <laughs> I just see where you guys go with this. Because it does sound really, really romantic, you know. Because love, love is an important thing. I love that movie, by the way. Princess Bride. If you haven't seen Princess Bride, it's one of my favorite movies. Because <laughs> I am a romantic at heart. <laughs> I am a romantic at heart. Uh, who are you in the movie? You know, 
are you Wesley? Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I don't think you think you think what you know what that means. You think. <laughs> Inconceivable. Okay. All right, that's enough. Um, great movie though. Uh, my name is Hector Montoya. You killed my father. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> oh man, okay. Um, Y'all got me flustered now. So, um, the whole thing uh, is probably not going to play out the way you think, okay? Uh, but it was a good try. Really good try. Um, but I will tell you right now, this is some scoop. Never before said on Ridge Life, Ridge Life Ramblings, or anywhere. I do love Jennifer. Um, I really, really do. Um, it's, yeah, it's not something you do easily. Okay? It's not something to take lightly. Um, but I do. It's I've six months now come to and she's so sweet. Oh my goodness, she is so sweet and just very caring and compassionate and and I don't deserve it. She's like I've told her that before. She was like, Why do you say you don't deserve it? Have you there's something about you you're not telling me? I said, Well, you just got to find out, you know? <laughs> That's why you gotta wait. I'm not hiding anything back. I'm 100% honest. She knows She knows the flaws, okay? She knows the flaws. <laughs> Lots of flaws. But guys, thanks a lot for uh, um, the the humor on the live streams. Uh, Paul Honeyman, Randall Grunlin, uh, Cuddly Texan, Crazy John. You guys just cracked me up, okay? The speed limit is David, come on, Homestead. Y'all just cracked me up. So keep it up. Keep cracking me up. And I'll keep trying to bring it. All right. So, guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Go Niagara Falls. Be good for yourself. It's our pleasure, y'all. Wow. Skip to the end.